integrating technology the right way, one step at a time, using the TIP model. Let's see how it works. Have you ever wanted to integrate technology into your lesson? You may have been scrambling around looking something like this. Using TIP, you can be more like this. You may have been teaching your students with a classic backboard. See this blackboard. Can't read it? Notice the language is not English. Students do not learn by taking notes off the blackboard anymore. It's like copying a foreign language that they don't understand. This information is not being understood. You need to write in a language that they can understand. By using technology, you can engage your learners. Maybe technology scares you, and perhaps you don't know how to create an effective lesson. Let's see if TIP can help. Other models start off asking how will you be using technology in your lesson, assuming technology is the answer, when in reality, it isn't always the solution. TIP makes sure that you are gaining from technology. It tries to prevent wasting time using ineffective technology during lessons. It's not productive to use technology just because. If not used correctly, it tends to create huge distractions and you fail to meet your learning objectives. Start new. TIP, unlike other models, prepares you for technology you are using from the very first step. Phase 1 is designed to clearly evaluate whether technology will be beneficial in this lesson. So the first thing you have to decide is, how am I going to use technology in this lesson? And will it be beneficial? The rest of the steps continue to lead you through the very detailed process. Your students are living in a new era. They use social networks like a daily journal. They are on a continuous search for the next hit app. We need to put, it, put things in a way that they can understand. A little something I like to call technology. But we need to use it in the right way. Remember, using TIP, you can integrate technology the right way, one step at a time.